Well, today was the first full day in Nepal and started off early this morning, woke up around uh, 5, 5.15, something like that, headed out onto the streets and got to meet a whole bunch of people. I was surprised at the amount of traffic uh, that was out there this morning and got to meet some great people. And you can check out some of those pictures on, on Facebook and see some of the people and, people and some of the culture uh, that we're getting immersed into. And it was just a great morning meeting some really, really nice folks. Um, then from there, we went to the international church service and got to participate in a great service. We must have been worshiping with about people from about 20 or 25 different countries. It was insane. All the different places that people were coming from and had a great worship experience. Um, went to, from then to a Mexican restaurant uh, that my friend Rick owned part of in, in Nepal. And it was a really good Mexican restaurant, Arizona style for those of you who have preferences. And uh, enjoyed a good meal there and had some good fellowship. And it kind of struck me then as we were driving there, we went by some, some very, very bad slums. And it kind of struck me then, I, I know the economy right now in America is rough, and, and I get that. I know there are a lot of people that are struggling, but, you know, we struggle within context of what we know. And it just, it, it, it reminded me again of many years ago when I was in Haiti, that a struggle for us in America is, is hardly often a struggle. Um, you know, what we have when we're struggling is mass abundance compared to what the people that we're seeing uh, have. I mean, they have nothing. I mean, literal shanties with tarps over his roof and some metal as walls and just uh, bad, bad situations. And, and so I was reminded today of just truly how blessed I really am in everything that I have. And, and that concept really hit home again looking at that and uh, just seeing the people and seeing the the normal flow of life here is so different from our flow of life and and you know but yet there's there's a happiness with so many of the people even in the midst of of that poverty and and what they're facing and tomorrow we'll actually get to venture out and to start to spend time full days with uh with a lot of these people and just share with them the hope that we know uh in christ jesus and so it'll be a real exciting day uh, but that was just a good reminder for me, and, and I know you're not here uh, if you're watching this, but the truth of the matter is we really we really are blessed living in America with, uh, with what we even think sometimes is a struggle. It doesn't even remotely uh, exist as a struggle in comparison to what I've, I've witnessed again today and, and what I've seen today. And so I've got to spend the rest of the afternoon just hanging out and talking, and uh, jet lag hit me a little bit this afternoon, so took a nap in the middle of the afternoon over at Rick's house while we were all hanging out and talking and the ladies got to do some henna tattoos on their arms that tells different different sacrifice stories and Bible stories on their arms that they can use as just a tool to share that with others. So overall, a very exciting day and really looking forward tomorrow to being fully immersed in a, a full day in this culture and starting to get a feel for what's going on. Ramadan also starts here tomorrow. And uh, so that will make things very interesting uh, for the, the times that we're out. But that's the update for today. God bless and, uh, and enjoy yourself.